Reiko, innovating in producing quality electrical boxes for over 100 years, also offers a full line of ceiling fan support braces. These kits are designed and rated to meet the heavier load requirements of ceiling fans and larger light fixtures such as chandeliers. Today we'll be going over the Retro Brace line, which is specifically designed for installations between joists in old work environments where clear access to the ceiling joists is covered by the finished ceiling. There are several innovative features that make these a great choice for remodeling, especially since no tear out or refinishing is required after the installation. Each kit comes with a heavy duty steel box, an insider non-metallic cable connector, mounting hardware, bracket, and of course the heavy duty retro brace. The brace can be quickly expanded using a Phillips bit on a drill or driver. The threads have convenient red markings making it easy to set to standard joist spacings of 16 inch or 24 inch on center. The 939 is designed for use with engineered eye joists, using a lower profile mounting so the feet bite into the flange of the eye joist. It's also a great choice for standard wood joists when a lower profile is necessary to avoid wiring, plumbing, air ducts, or other obstructions. Because of the difference in widths of these joist materials, the 939 has red marks to indicate the stopping point for both types of joists. The 939 also includes an extender sleeve that comes pre-installed for use with all 24 inch spans as well as 16 inch spans using traditional joists. For 16 inch eye joist spans, the sleeve needs to be removed, allowing it to contract to a narrower width. To remove, first expand the bar about an inch so the spring buttons can be pressed in releasing the tube assembly to pull apart. Then simply remove the sleeve and slide the foot back into the rod until the spring buttons seat into the second set of holes, configuring it to fit the narrower spacing. All kits are rated for a 70 pound ceiling fan or a 110 pound light fixture at 16 inch spacing and 35 pound fans or 50 pound lights at 24 inch expansion. The 936 comes with a one and a half inch deep box, while the 937 uses a deeper two and an eighth inch box, which is helpful when extra wiring capacity is preferred. Let's run through a typical installation so you can see some of the handy time-saving features. Before starting any electrical work, first make sure the power is off at the breaker. If upgrading to an existing fan or light fixture, unfasten the canopy or back plate to disconnect the mounting and wiring connections to remove the old fixture. Note, if you find the old box is mounted directly to the joist, then choose one of the other electrical box options designed for bottom or side of joist mounting. Unfasten and remove the box to expose the hanger or spreader bar. For wide spans with a flimsy hanger bar, you can try pushing the bar up until the two channels separate apart. For narrower spans or more substantial bars, use a metal cutting tool to cut the bar in half being careful to avoid cutting any electrical cable or wiring. Now remove or at least bend the old support out of the way, allowing space for the new install. Exercise caution when handling any jagged metal. Make sure the opening is 4 and 8 inches and expand the opening size if necessary. For new installs, a 4 and a quarter inch hole saw works great too. With the brace expanded to the approximate joist width, insert it into the opening, orienting the feet to rest on top of the ceiling panel. Make sure the bar is centered in the opening, and then rotate the bar five or six complete turns to embed the teeth into the joist. Partially thread two of the 1032 hex screws into the holes on the bracket marked keyhole. Next, mount the bracket into the brace and center it within the opening. Prepare the box by removing the appropriate knockout and attaching the ground screw. Pass the cable through the knockout opening and slide the keyholes on the bottom of the box over the two hex heads, slightly rotating the box counterclockwise to hold in place. And then fasten the other two hex screws and finish tightening all four screws. Push the insider connector up the cable until it snaps into the knockout hole. That's it. Your fan or light is now ready for installation. Note, for lights under 50 pounds, you may use the smaller number 832 screw holes. But for fans and heavier light fixtures, use only the heavy duty 1032 pan head screws that come with the kit. Make sure to follow the installations and wire instructions that come with your new fan or light fixture. 
So for your next renovation or lighting upgrade, rely on Rayco for the fastest and most convenient installation with safety and security you can trust. Always look to Hubble Rayco for your electrical needs.